I do not believe that God does not exist. I know for sure <laughs> He does not exist. And thank God <laughs> that He does not exist. <laughs> Because the existence of God would have created so many problems, difficulties, that life would have been almost impossible. You may not have looked from this angle that I am going to talk to you. Perhaps nobody has ever tried to look it from this angle. The Christians say God created the world. In fact, the hypothesis of God is needed for the creation. But the world is there. Somebody must have created it. Whoever created it that creator is God. But do you see the implication? If world is created, then there can be no evolution. Evolution means creation continues. Think of the Christian story. God created the world in six days and then on the seventh day He rested. Since then He has been resting. The whole creation was completed. in six days. Now from where evolution can have a possibility? Creation means finished. The full point has arrived on the sixth day. The full point and after that there is no possibility of evolution. Evolution implies that creation is not complete. Hence, the possibility of evolving. But God 
cannot create an incomplete world. That will be going against God's nature. He is perfect and whatsoever He does is perfect. Neither He is evolving nor the world is evolving. Everything will be at a standstill, dead. This is the reason why popes were against Charles Darwin, because that man was bringing an idea which is going to kill God sooner or later. Those popes were perceptive in a way. They could see the far away implications of the idea of evolution. Ordinarily you will not be connecting both creation and evolution. What connection is there? God and Charles Darwin there is connection. Charles Darwin is saying that the creation is an ongoing process. The existence is always imperfect. It is never going to be perfect. Only then it can go on evolving, reaching new peaks, new dimensions, opening new doors, new possibilities. God had finished His work in six days and not long before, four thousand four years before Jesus Christ was born. It must have been 1st January, <laughs> Monday, <laughs> because we manage to fit God into everything that we have created. He has to follow our calendar. If you ask me, I will say it must have been Monday, 1st April, <laughs> the Fool's Day, because that day seems to be absolutely suitable for doing such an act of creating a complete ready-made existence. If evolution becomes impossible, life loses all meaning. 